What is up everybody? Welcome back to my video. I hope y'all have an amazing day as usual. I'm back with another YouTube video. Before we get into today's video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and always comment down below. It really, really helps out the video. So you're probably looking at this house and going, well, it's just another abandoned house. But um This one's pretty crazy because it just went abandoned a few days ago. I know like I know it looks like it's been abandoned for decades, but no. Um just until recently there were people living in here. Um I think it was two old people, really, really old. And the house has been like this for as long as I can remember here in Bloomfield, New Jersey. Um, I don't know why they were living in the house. Clearly they couldn't take care of it. I mean, just look at it. Um, the only difference is, is this is all windows. Um, the windows have been taken out, some of them at least. Um, but uh, they've been having contractors clearing stuff out. My guess is that they're just going to have to demolish the house. I don't think there's any saving this house, to be honest. But uh, we're just going to walk around a little bit. Um, let's see what this house looks like. I mean, there's a house right here. So uh, I hope they didn't see me do this. Oh, my God. Look at this place, man. Uh, the people were so old. I mean, sometimes I would see these people. I mean, they could not even walk. Like, they'd just walk about a block, and then they'd come back into the house. Um, okay, so let's see what this uh, note says right here. Um, you, you are hereby ordered to stop construction at above address until further notice. So, huh, I guess they had to stop doing construction. Maybe it was too dangerous for I have no idea. Oh, there's a Bible right here. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe these people, sorry, I'm scratching my head. Don't mind me. These people might have been religious freaks, maybe. I don't have nothing against religion at all. I'm a Christian myself. I just went to church a couple hours ago. Um, but what I mean by that is, like, they're seriously religious. Like, they go by everything in the Bible. So, it's just weird. It's like, among all this trash of Bibles right here. I don't want to go into the house because something might fall in. Holy shit. The fact that people were living in this is really scary. I mean, I think they've tore things out, so it probably didn't look like this. There are definitely walls here where this wood is, but um, there was probably just so much mold and stuff. I mean, just look at the wood. Holy crap. Well, there's also two sheds in the back. Um, I really shouldn't be here. There's neighbors everywhere, so, you know, I might have the cops come, or they might call the cops, sorry. So, oh my God, back here. Um, wow. Wonder when this, wonder when this um, fire extinguisher's from. Does it say 1988, good Lord. Oh my god. I'm worried, like, if I... I'm gonna come in here. I mean, nothing's gonna collapse because it's cement. But I'm just worried there might be, like, some rats or maybe, like, a raccoon in here or something. Ew! Usually that would scare a rat or a raccoon away. Wow. Um. Wow. Um. My guess is that the old people that lived here are dead because I'm surprised that this house could last in this condition for so many years. I mean, I remember it looking like this when I was really little. Um, so it's obviously been in the state for a while and I'm surprised the town of Bluefield didn't do anything about it. Here we got a boat. Let's see when this boat's from. Maybe we got a little information. 1997 this boat is from wow we got a fridge right here oh wow it went back pretty far wow okay so there were actually cars back here too like i remember in the distance sometimes i when i was little i used to look right into this house and i would see uh like a few abandoned cars in the back um yeah these people were really old and could barely walk so my guess is they're probably dead they probably just died unfortunately but you know what? I'd rather be dead than live in these conditions, to be honest. If I wasn't, this. Okay, this wood is... It's okay, it's safe. 
big collapse, I could seriously get injured. Um, um, okay, whoa. All right, let's just go in here. Ew! Just want to make sure there's no one squatting in here. Or any animals, you know what I mean? Because there could be like a rabid raccoon in here or something. Oh, wow. This is, looks like a second house. I thought this was a shed. No, maybe back in the day, this was a second house. Oh, my goodness. It's actually kind of stable, but I don't want to jinx that. Let's see if this water is working. No. I'm actually very scared being in here because actually, you know what? It's actually somewhat stable. There's no one in here. Yo, this is like actually a house. Somebody lives in here. Surprisingly, it's not in very bad condition. Oh, dang it, I just heard. There's definitely some wood or something, but uh, it's actually pretty big. All right, we got a bathroom. Whoa, is that blood? Jesus Christ. And then this toilet. Whoa, oh my God. Look at this. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, I don't think there's any saving. I mean, this could be saved, but the house itself can't, so, at least in my opinion. All right, so there's no one squatting in here right now. There's no animals, so that's clear. Whoa, what's this red thing on my shoe? Hold on. Can't be blood. I'm not bleeding. I would have felt it. All right, well... Um, what's under here? Is it a garage? And say it was a house up here. What could have possibly been in here? Whoa. This is probably the basement. Oh my God. So just about an hour ago, not even, I saw a truck here and then they left. And then I'm seeing a sign right there that says they can't do any construction on it. So maybe the people who are tearing it out were doing it illegally. I don't know. Um... All I know is this is pretty scary. They put a lock on it. But look at all this stuff, man. It's like, you know, I'm just shocked. None of the neighbors said anything. Maybe they did and the city just never got around to it. I have no idea. But, um, yeah. The sign looks kind of tore up a little bit. But uh, let's see if we can. All right, there's some papers over here. Oh. Maybe this can help us. Stockade seasonal outlook. 1974. What? How is this paper still? What? Um, trying to look for any other evidence of who might have been here. Well, I know who was here, but if I can get any information about the people, maybe. It doesn't matter. I'm not stalking them. They're probably dead. We got this Bible right here. I mean, yeah, it's just a normal Bible, but, um... This is old. This is probably from, like, 1950. Um, is that a belt? Let's see if I can get a paper. There's a paper right here. Let's see. Alright, well... This looks like a, a church bulletin, maybe. Yeah. 1985. Oh, my goodness. I'm finding things that are decades old. This is crazy. Let's see if maybe there's some other information in here. No, it's just a church bulletin. Um, there's some more papers over here. I'm trying to get any information I can about this place or what it was. All right, this looks old. All right, well, let's... Oh, it looks like it's a family on the back. Maybe this is was their grandchildren. I have no idea. Let's get this open. It's really hard to open. Oh, my gosh. It's stuck together. Yeah, water can do that to paper. 
Um, wow. Ah! Greeting card from 2012. Good lord. Um, what's this? Okay, it looks like it's information about a thrift shop. When is this from? Let's see. Maybe there's a date on this. So clearly these people were big churchgoers. Um, oh, there's no date on it. Okay. Got a fire extinguisher right here. Let's see what this year this is from. 2009 to 2010. And it is empty. Wonder what um, prompted them to use a um, fire extinguisher. Well, obviously, these people were hoarders because there's just so much stuff. I mean, I remember when I um, would walk by this house, there was kind of like this closed off por front porch where you, I would just see rakes, everything, just, just stuff. And then the house looks like this. It had to be hoarders. I mean, I have no other explanation. This was all overgrown. Clearly, these people just could not take care of themselves. Maybe I can get another view of the house. There's a, a radio over there. If you can see that. That's a really low chandelier. It was probably up there before the contractors came now you can see a clock right here I'm gonna go around the house this is not good because this is a very busy street and I'm kind of exposed but uh wow I'm just gonna step onto the porch I don't know if it's accessible or not oh that door's open Oh, Jesus. Okay. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they have an alarm system. Well, they still get mail. Wow. If I was a male, male man or woman, I would not deliver mail to this house. I'd be a little too freaked out. Maybe not, because I have the courage to check it out, so maybe not. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to get out of here. Oh, look at this thing, man. And just like a week or two ago, they started clearing out the house. So it goes to show you the conditions these people were living in. It's just horrible. How anybody could live in these conditions is beyond me. I mean, I get mad when there's a couple like dishes on my counter, but these people <laughs> were living in filth for years. So uh, that's gonna finish up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and always comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.